السلام عليكم ويلكم اول اوف يو اون بورد اف اني ون اوف يو اي وونت تو بيبل تو كاتيجوري اوف بيبل اف سم ون هاز اولريدي ابييرد ان ذس اكزام اور هو ار ابييرنج ان ذس كمينج اكزام هاف هاف اولريدي بوك ذا اكزام if if someone of you few of you people can just uh, tell me am i audible okay uh, okay so uh, doctor uh, who who just who who messaged that he he yeah, just appeared for say part 1 last year but couldn't clear uh, doctor manisha uh, the, the, you are talking about this mcal fci part 1 is mcai am i right uh, can you speak out doctor manisha okay so actually i will just uh, try to uh, answer few of the queries and guide you people because uh, in the intro which i sent that why to appear in this exam and um, how to pass this exam these are the two questions uh, because uh, the people back in uh, our countries sometimes they don't know Uh, that the qualifications in back in Pakistan or even in India they are exit qualifications. Okay, so exit qualifications means that you have passed through certain training period, certain requirements, whatever their requirements are, and after at the end of the day when you pass the exam, you are given the license to kill. Okay, so that is called as exit qualification. But but the system in UK Ireland is totally different. they have kept kept the training system separate from the exams so exams will be going side by side before or after and training will go side by side so so uh, like uh, this is a big 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 confusion in the minds of people so uh, uh, th there are a lot of people who have done mcps or da or uh, such qualifications they uh the, they are not trying to do the the fellowship from pakistan or uh, the the other other subsequent uh, qualification from india or any other country and they are attracted by the beautiful world of college of anesthetist uh, ireland and this and that so my my request is that till the time you are not clear what you want to do or what you want to get from certain degree you should not proceed with it so this is question a million do dollar question so people who just think that this degree alone will be sufficient so uh, unfortunately it is useless it is just like sweet dish so sweet dish is taken after the meal not before the meal okay if someone will try to uh, to, to try to have uh, this uh, exam like if i am i focus especially the people who are have done mcps if they think that they if they somehow will do fcai after mcai they will become something out of the world there is no replacement for fcps there is no replacement for fcps so please whenever you have such ideas just ask someone to to uh, to to pray for you that you don't uh, distract your focus yes now that uh, i will uh, go to the other part that if you want to go to uk or ireland for example then these exams uh, are, are the one of the way to get their registration for either gmc registration or imc registration okay so for that purpose if you are doing it it's fine uh, this information was not correct for uh, accurate for me before i just came to know that the the initial part of fci that is mcai if you have passed you can get exemption from press exam of ireland and you can get the irish medical council registration but for gmc you need to finish this fci okay so i like uh, these are some of the points which for, for which you should be knowing separately if someone has done mcps from pakistan and if he thinks that he will do mcai and then fci and he will become a big consultant i'm sorry it will not happen it is useless to waste your time if you think that you will you cannot do fcps part 1 
and you think you can do MCI and FCI, believe me, they are not that simple. It's not that simple. Okay. And you, you should be using your energy in a positive way so that you get the result. Okay. So actually these are few words for the, for the people who want to appear in this exam. Now what this exam is, as, uh, be, uh, because I received messages from a number of people who are in the training and they are asking about primary FRCA and, or who are asking about MCAI or who are asking or FCI before finishing your MCPS or before finishing your FCI, FCPS, please don't waste your energy and waste your time and waste your, waste your money in such exam. These exams are after your post-graduation, not before your post-graduation. Yes, if you happen to to have this idea that this, these are the exams which you, you want to pass, you focus your study in that way. Because the difference between the exam back in, at least I'm not sure about Indian exam, but Pakistan exam or in, uh, Indian exam or, or, or and difference between those exams and in uh, UK Ireland, their exams are very, very methodical, okay? Because to prepare a certain level, you you need a lot of investment in the in the level uh, of the the questions which uh, which which you have to make. So these things are very important, okay? So um, before going further, please, if any one of you have some question, please ask so that I go go forward. If anyone wants to ask any question, any query, please just feel free to ask. Any questions, please? Assalamu alaikum, sir, doctor. Yes. Speak out, please. Assalamu alaikum, sir, doctor. Haris Chatha here. Yes, uh, sir. I have done my FCPS recently in November 2022. I okay. want to ask you if we uh, if we done our FCI exam after okay. that we get our GMC done after like FCI return and after the OC and viva. Yes, you can give GMC for GMC. Either you have to do IELTS with the score of 7 each and 7.5 overall or OET with the certain band which is required. I don't know about it. Okay. For a GMC, you can get it. For IMC, even without even without FCI, just with FCPS, you just have to do... Actually, this is a big confusion in the minds that people who are going, uh, only targeting IMC... They are also doing OET. Believe me, for I, uh, IMC, there is no need to, to do OET. IELTS will be enough because the requirement for Ireland is 6.5 each and 7 overall. Okay. So it is much, much easier. So people who are trying to go to Ireland, no need for OET. No need for uh, OET because OET is 6.5 band. IELTS is much easier than OET and OET is much easier than this one. Because this one is the most difficult. So I will rate it as one, number one, number two, and number three in ease. Okay. And then the people who are graduated from Pakistan after 2008 and they have done their house job according to the system or which is acceptable by Ireland, then you don't need anything. You just have to do this and you can get registration with IMC. Remember one thing because this is another big confusion. Even if you pass those, these exams, or you get, for example, if someone wants to go to Ireland without any exemption, they have to do press. For UK, they have you have to do PLAB. There is no difference even if you have done these exams or you have done PLAB or press to get the registration because initially you all of you will be in journal division. Even with so much experience for me and so much qualifications, if today I, uh, because I am registered, I have uh, done this uh, uh, the donation to I Irish Medical Council since 2015. I'm paying them just to keep my uh, uh, my registration open. I have no no plans to go there at the moment. But even if I go there, I will be doing a job as registrar like anyone of you. Yes, if someone has less experience, they will get a job of SHO, which is Senior House Officer. Or they may not get the job. Okay? Or, or another thing. For example, if I will get uh, interview calls of 10 hospitals. Maybe the people who have less experience or less qualification, maybe they will get five interviews calls. But actually there is no difference. So all of all of us, when we go to Ireland or UK, maximum we will be registrar. Okay. And there is actually, there is no exit plan, easy exit plan to become a consultant. Remember one thing. So 
it's it's not an easy job it's not an easy pathway okay so my focus this is uh, i have because i have discussed this career counseling pathway a lot a number of time before so after this introduction i will go to some of the information related to fci exam and uh, after in the la later part because i have less information about mcai but i will just try to tell so uh, so now my just some of the question no need for oet or imc just your degree but just a second what is this question no need for oet or imc just your degree provisional no no uh, ramla just cl uh, clear yourself uh, this is for appearing in college of anesthetist exam i'm not talking about that thing i'm talking about imc registration for fcai you don't need anything you just need as you have written this requirement is for appearing in the fci exam okay so you are perfect in your information you just have your degree even congratulation letter will be enough just get it get a paper you will enter i will i will show you the website for where you have to apply so this information ramla is for appearing in fcai i'm talking about registration with the medical council just like in india there is indian medical council or in pakistan there is pakistan medical and dental commission and in saudi arabia there is saudi commission for health specialities so this is the registration body for the doctors so that is that is difference between the college for anesthetist and the 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 registration for the doctors okay so initially all of us will be registered in journal division and because we have experience in anesthesia uh, so they will prefer like they will take us in anesthesia as registrar and they are called as non consultant hospital doctors and if i'm not wrong this is the correct name nchd okay non consultant hospital doctor something like that maybe i am wrong okay so actually uh, fci exam uh, because the people who have passed the FC, uh, our fcps maybe few years ago they had almost like i am one of them we used to have 10 saqs okay and we used to have 100 mcqs that used to be the pattern unfortunately because of some extraordinary ideas from some of the the cream of pakistani people they 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 change it to 200 mcqs in the paper this is a disaster which is going on i'm sorry to use this word but this is a disaster which is going on you all of you should raise voice because after few years or maybe few months this i'm i can i can guarantee that if they come to know that the pattern has been changed they will finish their exemption i can guarantee you this thing because this 200 mcq pattern unfortunately is not for for our country because unfortunately we are not as active and as focused and our life is not like the people in back in europe that they invest too much brain for for making their so our unfortunately we don't deserve to have a 200 mcqs pattern so anyways this is my this is my uh, grief in my mind and my heart unfortunately you people are some of people are very happy that they have 200 mcqs and they will read this uh, pearl of wisdom aisha beg and they will get 150 question repeated and they will pass the exam but i'm sorry this is a disaster so so people who have done mc fcps before they used to have this pattern the similar pattern you will see in fcai okay so it's still the same pattern saqs pattern and usually usually maybe i am wrong but for saqs there is usually i will just try to chalk it out one question from icu one question from cardiothoracic okay one question from gyneops one question from peds okay one question from neurosciences one question from regional oblique pain one question from applied basics this is the part the, the thing which is a little bit tricky for us even okay i was lucky to have a very very simple question but sometimes they, they like in this the last exam I, I just asked some of the people the question which was coming from applied sciences was on decompression sickness okay uh, sometime they will they can ask you about altitude physiology they can ask you about for for us the question was very very simple what are the different ways to measure blood pressure and they had asked some few more details about intra arterial blood pressure okay but if you have not re revised 
that basic science in basic science they can ask you anything related to physiology pharmacology anatomy uh, physics equipment anything and one question is re re sometimes related to recent advances okay so one two three four five six seven the three of them are actually sometimes some from blood and blood products okay and uh, like liver so this time among this uh, homeostatic pathway it was the question you know can you mute yourself please because it's quite distracting for me i request all of you to mute your mic please okay so this is the pattern of saqs so let me show you the the i just opened the website and i just find i found some like this was the question uh, yes a 34 old woman is listed for an emergency appendicectomy for acute appendicitis she is 30 weeks pregnant okay what are the risks to the fetus during anesthesia for the mother their questions actually there is a little bit difference between short answer questions and short essay questions short answer questions are very very uh, like uh, methodical and to the point okay and there is actually there is another growing pattern which is uh, i think applied uh, already in uh, uk base exam that is crqs that is also a, a refined form of saqs okay there is a little bit difference because uh, your exam you you have to be very methodical you don't need to write too much even you can write in bullets like you don't like need to write in in lines in paragraphs no you can just tabulate one two three four five okay so like that describe hematological gastrointestinal changes in maternal physiology which occur in pregnancy okay so you you can have th three or four hematological changes and you can just even uh, uh, with the typing i'm not sure how because this is something different i had requested uh, some of the some of uh, is the the person whom i requested for uh, who appeared uh, who, who has some information about this uh, um, typing sort of an online exam any one of you has the experience None, none of you. Okay. Anyways, so actually, this uh, summarize important information you would give to this patient during your pre anesthesia visit pertinent to this case. Okay. So you will be telling about uh, any uh, uh, like premature labor and things like that. Teratogenicity will be less, but any any unwanted effects to to the to the to the patient. So the, these three, so they will divide the question like that. And they will be asking you. And I just got the information that uh, they are giving now for online. They are giving uh, five questions. And you have to finish five questions. And then they will give you a break for half an hour. And then you will get the rest of the five questions. Similarly, MCQs are like that. Okay. When I appeared in the exam, actually, there were combination, combination of uh, choose the best and true false. But now they have changed it to um, uh, only choose the best. So uh, I will tell a few words about that one also. So actually this, these uh, are the, like 10 questions will be like this. And how, how can you like target? So actually I will just show you here. Uh, there are some books. Where are those books? Okay, just a second. For With reference to? SAQs. I will finish this and then we will go towards the MCQs. Okay, actually, I don't know who who likes this book a lot. This James Shorthouse. So anyone who has appeared in the exam and if someone asks them, they only get this book. This is actually Joem Shorthouse SAQs for uh, final FRCA. Uh, actually, uh, it will it will open. I think uh, after a few minutes. So anyway, so actually uh, this book is one of the book. It's not like textbook. People are running behind this book as if, is it the only book? Actually, uh, uh, there are, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. At least nine books are there in this fo folder and there may be a lot, okay? This is just a help. This is 
not that the, the question will come from this book. So unfortunately, our mind is only that we want some paki pakai khir. We just don't want to do a hard work to find the way. So the, what you have to do, I will tell you that how, how you can guess the questions. But let me just show you because actually our pattern, uh, sorry, FCAI, FCI and FRCA has a lot of similarity. Okay. So FCI questions are not, not available online. Okay. But uh, I had downloaded and, and you will find uh, there is some problem in my internet. I think they are not downloaded, but you can see these are the F FRCA previous questions, previous papers, but unfortunately they are old one. And you, if you, if any one of you can do this thing, because unfortunately now I don't get time to up, keep these things updated, but the pattern will be, some of the pattern will be like that. And if someone of you just write in Google previous FRCA papers, you will may find it. I will try to do it. Unfortunately, I couldn't, I, I thought to do it, but I couldn't do it. So these books are like a sample for you. Questions will not come from this book. Okay. Am I audible? Am uh, all of you can hear me? Yes, sir. You're audible. Okay. Yes, so sir. Actually, these these SAQ question like this is the this is one of the book you when whatever book you are reading this is you see 2019. This is after I the, the when I appeared in the exam I I did not have this book. Okay. So this is sort of new book. So and actually you know this is just a source. SAQs usually I will I will just try to recall and tell you that how they make the questions usually uh, they are following a few of the sources I will just so please I request you to mute your mic please okay anyways so actually I will just tell you that usually uh, their sources BGA education its its name was before C E A C C P. So its name was Continued Education in Anesthesia, Critical Care and Pain. So now they have changed the name to BJ Education. Okay, so this is one of the source, and Anesthesia Tutorial of the Week is one of the source. Then A A G B I guidelines is one of the source. Then you will find a lot of data on F R C A U K. Then you will find some, there is another BGA uh, articles, okay? One is BGA education, which which have review articles, okay? Just a second. These, these, these all are review articles. And uh, uh, you must know it, but I just want to clarify because when the word articles come, people become confused. There is difference between review article and research articles. The research articles is on one topic. And like our dissertation, you can say it's a research article. Okay. It has, it is only based on one research, but review articles is on the basis of maybe hundreds of research articles. Okay. So on the basis of hundreds of research article, one review article is made and it is a compact coverage on that topic. So anesthesia tutorial of the week and BJ education. These are one of the sources. Actually, I have tabulated all of these articles, which are there since many years. This is the state of fair. I'm requesting all of you to please mute your mic. I got distracted. Uh, just a second. Uh, you know, I have uh, tabulated them and uh, this link I always share. Unfortunately, I'm not able to uh, to arrange them in uh, in in topic wise, but you, if you want to, my suggestion will be just have a look on these articles. These are arranged. I have arranged them year wise. Okay, so these are arranged from two thousand one to two thousand twenty three. All whatever article is being printed is there. I think up till January. Okay, for BJ Education, all articles are there. Just open it and have a look and you don't need if someone will open it and try to say sir 1000 article what will i do no it's not like that you don't have to cram each and every line you will just have a look on the topic that do you know about the topic or not if you don't know about the topic just have a look if you know if you have, if you have already read the topic open the article like for example 
um, just uh, let me see this major burns for example i'm just showing you the people who are the first thing to read is this thing key points learning objective you just see that do you know about these this topic or not okay so and then you can have a look on the headings the main the main summary they want to do and such flow charts or uh, like charts okay so this will be enough for you maybe they have not put anything new maybe all in uh, they re just uh, they have refurbished and uh, published the same thing again okay so so uh, like what happened that when we uh, when i appeared in the exam actually what happened that uh, like uh, two of the topics i will i will just claim one of one of, one of them was awake craniotomy okay and one of them was crps budapest criteria okay so actually these two of the topics were for uh, like people say that paper paper come from the article it's not like that it is you can say that usually the topics which they ask are usually being discussed in uh, preceding years in these articles this is what i can say so all of you who are appearing in this exam they are not babies you all have studied everything so you just have to revise okay and you just have to update yourself that's it nothing uh, nothing totally out of the world so you can do it it's not out of the world believe me maybe you will just have a look on the guidelines like a gbi j a gbi guidelines i told you so like i actually what i was telling you that these two of the questions and then in the viva they were asked about fibromyalgia it is written in the book all uh, almost all the books but maybe awake craniotomy awake craniotomy is not highlighted in our books in the way it is there like in an, in the form of article okay so so my suggestion will be that if you are planning to appear in the exam just uh, open this uh, article folder and have a look on the topics don't be afraid of 100 or 200 articles just have a look on it them okay so uh, this bj education is one of them this is one of the sor sources which is very 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 academic okay so i found it i just uh, have this is um, like a subscription which i have taken for all of you unfortunately you people don't have the time and sometimes i i think that i'm wasting my money on you people but none no none of you is interested actually so this is uh, just for not not to show off this is costing me 1000 real for one year and i am just doing just to keep things updated okay but uh, i wish if someone of you will be reading from them then only it is of worth otherwise it is useless they, they this is Thank another aapki aapki drive jo hai wo hamare liye bahut badi nemat hai hame pata hai sabko yes yes but there are some people uh, yasin who are not understanding our language okay so there are some people from across the border from other countries or anyways so actually this is another very good source okay and you can have a look and again their pattern is that every year every two or three years they revise all the course okay so maybe if you cover last three or four years maybe from maybe from 2019 20 21 22 you will cover at least uh, almost all the course so i will highly suggest you to have a look on this this is anesthesia icu journal this is two or second of them anesthesia tutorial of the week everyone knows because it's free for everyone so everyone knows about it so uh, you will find almost all the topics here so these three sources and then updates in anesthesia updates in anesthesia is actually coming every year once so last was on this uh, this one yeah, you 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 they will take the topics from here okay so this is just an update for you a number of topics which come in the update they are coming already on the anesthesia tutorial of the week so don't need to to have doubling but please do have a look on these topics if you are going to appear in uh, uh, any international exam okay so this is just an uh, this is topic wise folder unfortunately i am not able because it's a really a, a daunting task to take articles from there and put them topic wise i am doing it all alone uh, only allah is with me none of you is helping me none of you is interested in helping the, the uh, others unfortunately so i am doing it all alone and i invite 
others to help me out because otherwise as soon as i am vanished from this world this thing will be finished so i don't want it i want some more people crack like me to help others okay so this is uh, for related to saqs and uh, uh, you will find a number of topics like that some of the sources i will i will tell you i'm just uh, 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 coming in my mind a gbi is one of them okay then european society of anesthesia you will find a lot of uh, guidelines then american society of anesthesia you will find some guidelines then uh, nap national audit project okay uh, i had put it in the respective topics so you will find in every but i think if you can find nap uh, i think nap 6 was on anaphylaxis i forgot about it anaphylaxis or aware, uh, awareness things like that so there is one, two, three, four, five, six. There are four, six nap, and then there is one C nap. Uh, unfortunately, nobody is listening to me. Please mute your mics. C Mac, okay. Confidential inquiry on maternal and child health. Then uh, this surviving sepsis campaign. Okay. Then DAS guidelines. Okay, and uh, okay. Anyways, so these are some of the sources which you should be looking at for SAQs. Topics will come like that. So read, open them, open them, and find the topics. Okay, and previous FRC, I will inshallah, I will try to to update this folder which I showed it to you with SAQs. Uh, just a second. One thing I think I forgot. One thing more to show you. Uh, in in it there are some solved questions as well the, actually this also has some uh, once i was searching so i find some this is hong kong hong kong college of anesthetists and their questions were very 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 good so for practice you, you i will suggest you to have a look on these questions though it is not related to a college of anesthetists island but the questions which they were asking were very nice so i just downloaded whatever were available at that time so you can find them here where is the saq's pool just a second let me see because there was one saq's pool yes it's here i think yes okay so this is uh, one of the website i don't remember the name of the website so it had some questions so actually what i did i just downloaded them and they are all here okay uh, they are solved questions from frca previous questions okay so you can you can find a lot of data and it was you can just imagine that when i when i was appearing in the fci myself so i had three four of my friends who were studying together and my responsibility was to collect the data so I collected all the questions and I make them topic wise. You know, you will find here, these are previous FRCA questions and I was the one who took them and I try to put them topic wise. So these are all there. You can, you can use them. Okay. These, this is there in topic wise question. You will find these are all previous FRCA questions. Some of them are, are the topics which I created. So like, this is this is something else this is the pregnant questions which i prepared anyways so these are the these are the sources which you can use to guide yourself okay now the last thing which is about uh, oral uh, sorry about mcqs so you know mcqs uh, i will suggest that actually again there is no specific book so you will go to this uh, folder you can see and you here you will find mcqs so you will have to target these two folders, basic sciences MCQs and clinical sciences MCQs. A number of books which are here in this source, you know, already know. If you will open the, their website, you will find Cubase. And you know, when I uh, people are asking about Cubase, I become literally, I am shocked that none of you want to see it. You know, it was to publish in 1999. Can you believe this? You How this book will be good for you. Things have changed a lot. But still, the things which are uh, in, in the minds of the people, you cannot change. I have put it because a number of people used to ask me, Sir, please, uh, we want Cubase. So Cubase is there. The, th the, the Cubase which are related to 
uh, clinical part is here. Okay. This is uh, this is Cubase 5 and this is Cubase 3. Okay. And the Cubase which were related to basic sciences are here. So here you will find uh, Cubase uh, 6, I think one, uh, 4, 2 and 1 because all these four Cubase are on related to basic sciences. So all of these books are alike. There is nothing which is good and nothing which is bad. And believe me, when I uh, because this was one of the first book which we found in Pakistan way back in, uh, in, uh, around in 2010 when we found these books in soft copies and there was one person used to sell them. Otherwise, I have a number of books. I have hard copies. And when I was studying, actually, we ordered from Amazon and uh, we had to pay uh, in Pakistani rupees, I think 100,000, 150,000 for these books. And then we made copies and we distributed to four or four of four or five of our friends which were and you people are so lucky that these books are there on your tips okay you don't have to pay for it and it, they were very expensive and you know even in this book believe me there are so many mistakes but you will only you can only find them if your mind is open in all these books there are some mistakes so you don't rely them 100% try to reconfirm their answers okay so you need to do at least four or five books, I will suggest at least, okay? Like uh, now everyone knows about these books. When I appeared in F F uh, FCI, I remember I did, did one, two, three, four. I had read some of them randomly, but at least these four books I read, okay? And also this one, okay? This one, I couldn't complete it, but like I was, I used to, this is new book, okay? This is... This, this book was published in last few years, if I'm not wrong. This book was not there when I, you see, it is new 2019. So, because I did it in 2016, so it was not there. Okay. So, these are some of the books which you can read from MCQs. And again, again, you will find this thing that uh, you, if you open it, open any of the book and read any MCQ from it. In the reference, a number of times you will find MC uh, reference of these articles. Let me just show you just for your, um, just a second, please. Uh, anyone wants to ask any question because uh, I, I have few things in my mind, you see, like this question about this SIADH, continued your education in anesthesia, critical care and pain, disorders of sodium balance. So if you will find the year, you can go to, if you did this 2008, you can go here go to this link here 2008 and you will find somewhere here okay so like you you can tra track it very easily you will find it in in any one of the folder okay so uh, like uh, this is how it it works and this is how you will have to invest then uh, some of the books which are actually supposed to be for viva okay but i will highly suggest you to have a look here like this uh, these are clinical review books this uh, people who know me this is my darling book i read it a lot if someone asked me i have uh, this book uh, i still have i have torn them in pieces and in every page i have written from wherever i used to read from uh, some other information from other book i used to write here there so this was my base book once upon a time. This book is excellent. These two books are very, very, very good. This is also good. You will find also here podcast, but podcast is actually very old. So for basic sciences, maybe it's good, but for clinical sciences, there are a lot of deficiencies because things, clinical sciences uh, are updated every, like, especially, you know, basic pathology never changes, but the, the guidelines, the study guidelines, the treatment guidelines, the diagnostics features, some of the things are changing uh, in, with passage of time. Okay. But you can find it here. So this is this is uh, some ICU review books you will find here. Okay. Uh, some people are reading this book. This book is good actually. This is from the same uh, of like uh, the series of some other. So so you can find, and, and you know, remember one thing, I will suggest you to read topic oriented. Okay. Because if you try to finish 
one book or two book, it will not be sufficient. But if you just try to have a uh, topic oriented, uh, that will be good. So this is the website. Okay. So you can find all the exam dates and fee. People, uh, people ask about the fee. I'm, I'm sorry because I, I paid it from uh, Real. So I my conversion is through that. And uh, because our currency is uh, moving like a Ferrari these days. So we cannot, uh, I cannot tell that how much is the price in uh, in Pakistani rupees or things like that. But this is all the information you can find from here. Yeah, all the that that I open it from here, just uh, like honor pledge consent form. I don't know what is it. Frequently asked question is the exam style. Uh, just a second, let me show you. Yes, so this is the pattern which they did it recently. Change some of the things. You can have a look on it because this is something new because when I appeared, some of them was uh, uh, true false. Okay. But now they have totally changed it to single best. So this is one of the question of 58 years old with elective side. You you can see because I don't have time to, to discuss uh, studies, but this is the, the format you can have a look. I, I will share. I will try to make, I will download all these and I will try to put it in my uh, Google Drive. Okay, so uh, okay. So now a few words about the oral part. Actually, the oral part is uh, uh, for uh, FCAI. Oral part has one long case. Okay, and four, you can say four uh, uh, table. Four examiners will be there in two tables, just like in Pakistan. We have this table viva. The 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 the, the difference is that. Their table viva is only for uh, 15 minutes each, okay? So uh, rather 25 minutes uh, of each table. So there is one 15 minutes table and one 10 minutes table. So 25 minutes each will become total of 50 minutes table viva. And every five minutes there is, so there usually there will be 10 questions and they will be uh, short questions. They um, uh, like, uh, the, like for example, one of, them was on fibromyalgia okay so i'm just giving you example one of them was on uh, for when i appeared uh, for phyria okay so there there was a question that a patient this 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 age having porphyria for some surgery just like we have the same thing will be happening there okay so that long the long case is around they give a paper to you and they give you 15 minutes so i will tell you what the case was for me because it is a hell of a case like my patient was diabetic hypertensive morbid obese okay known case of von Willebrand disease okay CA colon presented for laparoscopic hemicolectomy this was my long case because I failed in this case so I don't forget the one I passed, I don't remember even. That what case he asked me when I passed. It was the first time I failed. And I failed because of few very, very, like the thing, uh, maybe I, I knew everything about obesity, hypertension, diabetes, uh, colon and laparoscopic surgery. And this, this thing, I was treating myself. Like I did not use the word that I will consult hematologist. This was considered as a lack of understanding of the situation and lack of communication skills. So actually when I was, I finished the oral part of the, the viva and the, there was a big mama sitting over there. She said, would you like to consult hematologist? And I, I just raised my head and look into her eyes and I knew that I am failed. So I, I was hundred percent sure that I'm failed. Okay, because I was just struggling to tell about all the things, FFPs and vasopressin and whatever desmopressin I was telling. I did not tell that this patient will be going. And actually what happened, they show me ECG. It was it was, looks to be normal, apparently normal. I took a lot of time in looking at it and I couldn't find anything and I became blank. This was one of the mistakes which I did. And then one of the yeah, mistakes was, I'm sorry. sorry. You know, again, people are so careless. They don't listen to the request. Anyways, 
one of the another was that the blood pressure they do they asked me this question you are in the anesthesia clinic you are seeing this patient the patient has 180 by 110 blood pressure what will you do so i forgot that i am in the clinic not in the pre-op because usually we don't do clinic uh, at least back in pakistan we 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 have a different life but anyways i was actually i should have i told i will give midazolam so this wrong word made me sink because it said you will give midazolam in the clinic. No, 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 no. I will, I will just refer. So anyway, that was the, but I'm just sharing with you that in even in communication skills, only a small mistake can fail you in the exam. And then you say, I tell everything, but they fail. No, it's a blunder. Nobody will give midazolam in their clinic. And I don't know how I did, did this mistake. Then again, I mistake the second thing which I did there that uh, I, I said, that uh, I, I want to have a constant monitor of blood pressure and I use the wrong word, I said halter. So he has said halter is for blood pressure monitoring. Oh, no, 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 sorry, this is for arrhythmias. So like a small things, at, actually the word for this thing was ambulatory blood pressure, okay? Ambulatory blood pressure. So I couldn't recall the name. And then uh, I, I said another wrong thing there. These actually, these were not actually related to the knowledge. These were related to my uh, like uh, distracted uh, approach. Okay. So I said, this is white, white coat hypertension. Okay. So they asked me, what is white coat hypertension? So actually I, I just sink myself due to non-technical things. And because I was so overwhelmed there in first three, four minutes, Unfortunately, I couldn't handle and I failed. But otherwise, believe me, their exam is very, very, very methodical. You will enjoy it. If you know, that if you have the correct concept, you cannot fail. I can guarantee you about this, this exam that if you have the correct concept, first of all, the best thing is about is that in Pakistan, we have a long case. We have a patient. The patient is Pashtun or Punjabi or Saraiki or and not listening to us. And we are struggling to get the, the history. Here, all the data will be with you. And then rest of the things they will tell you when uh, they will come to you, the, when you will go to them. You will have a paper in which all the, the clear data will be written. And the first question will be uh, for, can you summarize, what is your case? Okay. So that is summarizing, sum, uh, summarizing of the case. Uh, just a second. And these books, all these books, which I, uh, the clinical review books, which I showed, they have the pattern of summarize. So I think there is some problem in my internet. It's not opening. But in, in, in this clinical uh, review books folder, you will find the books in which in after all the data, in all the cases, they will ask, summarize the case. So, so you should be knowing how to summarize the case. Okay. So that will be the thing that you have a uncontrolled diabetic patient or a hypertensive patient presented for this, this, this. Okay. So this is how you have to Tell them according to the blood pressure, according to the lab findings, whatever whatever you found, you will be telling. Okay, so this is all about FCI, and the people who are in the training and want to appear in the exam later on. My suggestion will be that please come out of the world of this Manhus Aisha Beg, come out of the world of this Manhus Morgan. Please have mercy on yourself. Please don't try to have shortcuts. There is no shortcut to glory. Remember one thing. And if someone thinks that he can bypass the things, he will be in more trouble. It is, it is just like when we are stuck in a traffic and we try to turn to, a, to, to shortcut and we are stuck in even worse scenario. So please, please, this is serious business. This is not a joke. Anesthesia is not a joke. You are dealing with lives of patients and it uh, you cannot say when you become consultant that uh, this uh, I left in the uh, like uh, I I left it as a as a separate thing. I didn't prepare it. You cannot do this. Okay, you should have a basic concept about all the topics and the topics topic oriented study is the solution. Okay. So again, I repeat, the people who have done MCPS want to do some better exam. The only thing is FCPS, nothing else. If they want to go to UK Ireland. It is better to do the, these exams. Uh, they can do it, but if uh, uh, I, if you ask me, they should do the basic exam lab. 
because if you try if you uh, if you are fresh for example the person who has in right now just done mcps he can he or she can do mci it will not be that much difficult but if you are out of practice for 10 years and now you have not done anything and you don't want to go to uk ireland this is useless these exams will not give you any benefit if you are uh, you have no plan to go to, to their country okay so this is what all what mci exam i i have limited information but mci exam is totally basic sciences so basic sciences exam they have three separate portion one is for physiology one is for pharmacology and one is for physics and equipment they say measurements and physics and equipment okay so they have very strict pattern they will be have specific number of uh, questions on each like there will be 20 question from uh, physics and 20 question for pharmacology and 20 question for physiology and then uh, i i just talked to one of the person who just recently last year passed uh, mcai and i because i have not we are we are exempted from mci uh, fcps people so we are directly appearing in fci so i, I we don't know about mci i have done uh, another basic sciences exam that is european diploma in anesthesia and icu but that is a little bit different because European Diploma in Anesthesia is not only of basic sciences, it has clinical sciences as well. But MCI is purely just like primary FRCA, it is purely basic sciences, purely basic sciences, okay? And though after that, they have an OSCE. In OSCE, again, there will be a certain number of stations, just, just like we have in uh, MCPS or FCPS or IMM, but they will be very organized and they will be touching all the aspects. Like they will be asking about some things about physiology, the basic equipment, uh, emergency management, critical incidents. So their pattern will be like that. But unfortunately, I have less information about MCI. So before I finish, any, any questions from any one of you is welcome. Yes, please. Any questions? Yes, and uh, you, uh, the people who are already in practice and they just want to update their knowledge or update uh, like their qualification, the, the, the people from Pakistan, the exam is FCI because on the basis of FCPS, they can appear in, in, uh, they can appear in FCI. Um, so that is not a bad idea, but my advice is the people who are in residency right now, my suggestion, please just broaden their horizon just change their study pattern to topic oriented study and uh, if you can have afford the best time to appear in fci will be right after fcps just the, the the immediate attempt after you pass fcps that will be the best time for you to appear in fci because you have already read and studied everything you are fresh and immediately you can appear and that will be the best time for you you just need to update right. yourself. Uh, yes. Sir, abhi a thais February ko exam hai na. So yes, please talk in, talk in English. Talk in English. Okay, talk okay. In English. okay, okay. Sorry, yes. sorry. Yes. Uh, I am going to appear in exam that is on twenty eighth Feb, and yes. uh, some other people are there in this group, and I have made a WhatsApp group for group study. Okay. Um, what what do you suggest? We should adopt a pattern. Just we re, uh, need to read articles on a fast track or we uh, need well, to finish. Seen, that uh, you, know, you know, I have told you what is their expectation and what you should read. Rest now according to the time, but I will still suggest you that you don't need to read each and everything. Okay. You, ju yeah. you just yeah. need to and uh, need to have a look on any topic which you don't studied before. Okay, and I okay. think you should concentrate more on on, on MCQs because uh, a person uh, whom appeared uh, recently failed in MCQs. Okay, so because if you don't have depth of knowledge, um, uh, you don't have like it. It will be difficult for you. You will have problem in in MCQs rather than SAQs. For FCPS Part Two, we had covered Cyprian, Bogdadi, Huzaifa, Rakesh, Ramse. Um, and James, six books are enough. If we revise, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, my dear, uh, you know me, uh, the people who know me, uh, you uh, unfortunately, I cannot comment on this thing because there is no limit. If you ask me like that, five books is enough 
I will again say, have a look on the articles. Do, 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 uh, is, is there any topic which you don't know? You have a look. Just bird eye view, okay? Like my suggestion okay. will be that, like if you, for example, try to have at least last few years topics that you, mm -hmm. the, nothing should be uh, like you don't study at, at, at all. Like this anorexia nervosa, can believe, can you believe that they can ask you this question? Because this patient will have psychiatric problem. This patient will have electrolyte imbalance. This patient can have a lot of things. Yeah. Okay. I'm just giving you example. So if you don't have any idea about it and suddenly you find a question on anorexia nervosa, you will be scratching your head what, what the hell it is. Though it is not difficult. Mm -hmm. If you read about yeah. it, believe me, you will not find too much. There will be, will be problem related to liver. The patient may be retching. There may be ulcers. Mm -hmm. Think you open. I did not read ever, believe me. But I'm just thinking my brain that what should, should be. I did not read this article. But <laughs> I can yeah. tell you that the, these things will be written here. You see? Associated with multiple yeah. cardiac comorbidities, a lack of nutritional intake and low metabolic rate, cardiac muscle mass is often decreased. Okay? So yes. this, is, this is what you can do. Because uh, I tell you, the questions definitely comes from these articles. The topics they took, take from here. So this is the best source. If you want to just quickly revise, this this will be uh, like, uh, 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 like this is what you can do. Okay. Okay. So I I would request uh, I would. Yes. Can I add something, sir? Yes. Yes, please. Uh, if anyone. Yes. You. Uh, so can my join name is Faruk. I'm sorry. Yes, please, please continue. I am. Yes, please. F H, you are talking. Yeah, my name is Farooq Hamid. You know me, sir, very well. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I'm Farooq. in Ireland right now. Yes. Uh, I'm in Ireland right now, and I did appear in the exam the last time, mm -hmm. um, and it was quite a premature attempt, I would say. So mm -hmm. the the difficulty I faced uh, actually I passed the BCQ exam quite easily. Uh, when the when the uh, when they have the splitted the marks and they gave me the exam results. But mm -hmm. I failed in the SAQ part just because uh, two reasons. The first of all, mm -hmm. we are not uh, really prepared for the online exam uh, to be on the SAQ part. Uh, mm -hmm. um, you have to attempt uh, five questions in one hour, 40 minutes time, uh, mm -hmm. which concludes 20 minutes time for our SAQ. And mm -hmm. it was quite a detailed questions. Uh, for example, uh, it was almost the same question as I was asked in the FCPS uh, for... Uh, uh, pyloric stenosis and it was mm -hmm. part from A to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H parts mm -hmm. uh, and it took me around 30 minutes uh, to type because the typing speed wasn't up to, up to the mark and then uh, uh, the next question led me to, uh, to finish it in uh, 25 minutes so in the end I was short of uh, I couldn't attempt uh, approximately two questions uh, first mm -hmm. thing. The second thing is out of uh, 10 questions, there must be, there will be one or two questions that will go over your head. Um, for example, the last time it was serotonin syndrome. It was not just the, just the definition of serotonin syndrome or mm -hmm. just the drugs which causes serotonin syndrome. They were in and out of a serotonin syndrome. It was, they asked me classification even. So I had no idea of it, and plus you no will, time was left. Uh, sorry, Farooq, only, only my, this is endorsing to what I told that serotonin syndrome article is there. You open, open this okay, uh, CCP articles, and you will find serotonin syndrome. Absolutely. Okay, sir. And the second question I struggled with was uh, uh, barometric chamber. They asked uh, how it is made, what pressure uh, uh, a scuba diving. Yes, uh, I'm very, I'm very, I'm very lucky not to be asked this question. Uh, who quickly uh, I came went to up know to know the, about this decompression uh, uh, Yeah. So I yeah decompression sickness so almost above my head plus i was short of time and i was it was a premature time even now i'm attempting the exam but i'm not i'm not very confident about it but i still still i'm going for it the bcq part actually i have prepared a lot dr zishan knows me very well i have prepared a lot for the fcps uh, especially for the bcq part 
so i'm pretty good in bcqs so i was passed in uh, I, I in fact i have comprehensively passed the last time but icq part i flailed and uh, it's written in their exam that you have to attempt 10 questions you mm. cannot leave a question if mm. you leave a question you are automatically fail even though yes. if you pass if you are up to the 50% mark the last time the cutoff was 50% for the SCQs mm -hmm. and 60% for the BCQs. Uh, uh, the SCQs, if you score even 55, 60, but you haven't attempted a, the, a question, for example, you have attempted nine, nine questions, you still fail. So you have to attempt all the questions. Uh, that, mm -hmm. that is another trick. Mm -hmm. You see, so, uh, so I will it. actually, uh, yes, yeah, yes, thank you. Uh, Farooq, I'm just, uh, uh, this, this uh, link, of basic sciences review book, one of the book you will find here, this one. Okay, and here right now, the question which was asked to my dear, oh, wait, it is gone. My dear friend, Farooq. By the way, Farooq, it's really nice to see you after so many, because the people who pass the exam, they are like fish, uh -huh. they are never, I never catch them. I'm, ne I'm never able to catch them. They never uh, come Achoo. back. I do, I'm really sorry, sir. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, I do follow you. I do need to help you out. I was changing my, uh, I mean, location from Karachi to here. And uh, I, know, I was I know. really badly stuck. Yeah. No problem. No problem. No problem, my dear. No problem. But I'm just telling you, this is uh, this is the question. No, no, were... but but I but I'm coming. I'm I'm coming a lot closer to you within uh, six to seven months of time. Hopefully, inshallah. You know, this is the question which was he was asked. What would happen if a diver performing a breath hold hyperventil? Uh, almost these questions you will be finding here. Okay? Yeah, actually these Irish people uh, go to Australia much uh, for their completion of their training. Uh, mm -hmm. And there, the scuba diving there is very common. This, this question is co quite commonly asked. I, I didn't, I wasn't aware of it. But now mm. I do. No, but I'm sorry. You know, Farooq, uh, just have a look on these books. Whatever, because basic sciences question is sometimes very difficult. I I told you, I, I think you joined later, late. But I told that when I appeared, the question was, what are the different ways to measure blood pressure? Oscillatory method and oscillatory method and uh, uh, this, 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 this. Okay. So it was very easy. Some people find question like this. Some people find question of on TIVA on TCI you were unlucky to have this question some people can find the question on altitude high altitude what happens in on high altitude you see this is the question which they can ask this uh, hako and what is this uh, hako and hapo high altitude pulmonary edema high altitude cerebellar edema okay acute mountain sickness chronic mountain sickness what are the different medications they use what is the uh, adaptation okay so actually these these uh, this is also a very good, good book. You just have to target the topics, my dear. It's not related to any book. Hafiz Yasin. I hope I, I understand. Uh, Collier Banner does not give the detailed results of FCI exam. If we don't clear, do they? After my result, I had requested them to send me the detailed results so that I could improve on my at next attempt, but I never received a reply. Uh, Manisha, I will suggest you don't you waste your time in this thing. Either you are pass or, or you are fail. If you fail in MCQs or you fail in uh, SAQs, you, you just practice them. And my suggestion again will be the same. Try to cover the topics. You should not have any topic which is not, uh, which is like as Farooq said, going above the head. You should not have any topic or any question. I think Farooq summarized what I wanted you to know. That even if you know a little bit of details, you will be able to answer some of the points and you will give get some of the score and maybe some of the scores will be more and some of the scores you will miss. Okay. I never got to know if I feel no, 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 no. It's not possible, Manisha. They always send, they always send the result. I think you missed it. You can request them. Uh, there, there is a pattern. I, when I appeared, there was a pattern of uh, one, two, three, four. So four is the best. Three is pass. Two is just failed and one is bad failed. This is what they do when I did. So I had four. Uh, in can the... I add? Yes, yes, Farooq. Uh, so, so this pattern is now changed. Uh, mm -hmm. They, they, they do give you the split result of mm -hmm. SEQ and MCQ, and in the result they tell you that you have to clear both of them individually. That's mm -hmm. what I got the result. 
the SEQ part, the 60% was the passing criteria and I was above it. Uh, but on the, uh, 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 sorry, on the BCQ part. But on the short uh, answer questions, um, the 50% was the cutoff mark. They, they told me that the cutoff mark was 50 and I scored 35 out of which uh, two questions almost I didn't attempt it. So uh, to answer Manisha's next question, uh, the detailed result, you know how did you attempt the question? So out of eight, no, no, but I, uh, actually, eight actually, yeah, her yeah. her concern is that they did not send her. I I think this is just your bad luck. Usually she they are very good. It, yeah. And even you can contact Farooq and Farooq can help because he can just call directly uh, from their number or uh, you just saw. No, no, they should send you by email. They should. They should, they maybe there is some misunderstanding because usually okay, they are I very good. It. Her result. Her result will be in the junk folder. Yes. No, 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 Manisha, you did something wrong. Unfortunately, you sh you can contact them and they will answer. Okay. Uh, anyways, uh, th there is another question uh, about, uh, sir, we, do we need continuous work experience for of past 13 months to get GMC or is FCI or and three out of five years of work experience? This is wrong information, Ramla. Uh, if you are not in practice for more than six months, not 13 months. If you are more, you, you cannot get any registration. It will become very, very difficult for if someone wants to get registered to IMC or GMC, you need current experience. If you are out of practice, one of my colleagues, she was in Canada. Uh, she was a gold medalist. She was extra, extraordinary. But because of her, fa her family, she went there and she got settled. And unfortunately, she she cannot uh, work now. She's, she's doing something else. I don't know. But, but the, so, so mind it. A current experience is mandatory. If they give you some exception, I'm not sure about it. Okay. That's what information that I know that you should not be out of practice for more than six months. If more than six months, they will not give you registration. They will ask you to have a job, job continuity. And only then you, they will consider how much time I think six months. I think if I'm not wrong, but I think I'm not the correct person. You should contact GMC on individual basis. Sometimes they, they may give, give you some exception. There is another question. What's advice if person has MCPS doing job in Gulf but want to improve qualification? Other than FCPS, there is no qualification, my dear, on. Uh, it's useless. Okay? It's useless. Uh, uh, there is no ex uh, replacement for FCPS. Yes, even if you go there in UK, uh, 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 this one, uh, it may, there is no guarantee. There is no guarantee that you will get the training. So please come back to Pakistan and do FCPS. And then you go to anywhere. That's why I hate MCPS. Not because MCPS are, is bad. But if you want to destroy your future, you, you, you should do MCPS. I'm sorry, but this is a reality. If a young person is doing MCPS and he is not stopped by his senior, he that, that senior is your enemy. Because young people, it should be prohibited to do MCPS. MCPS is for the people who are more than 40, have not done anything, have sir family circumstances, they cannot leave their city or their country. For uh, MCPS is only for them. Women, family life, difficult life, they don't want to do anything big. They just have, want to have a degree to have a smooth life. It's MCPS for them. Young people, if I come to know 28 years old, young man is doing MCPS, I, I, wish, I wish to squeeze uh, their mind and uh, the supervisors are responsible uh, I, I will only quote my my academic father Allah made him a source Dr. Sajid Usman call I worked only for two months with him but whatever I am I dedicate to him because I I uh, uh, got the vision from him I got why I am talking to you and I am uh, putting my energy to you people across the globe believe me this is the sense selfless approach which I got from so one of them was Dr. Sajid Usman Kaul. Okay, He he was uh, supervisor of FCPS when there was not even DA in Pakistan. Believe me. And he was the one who did not get registered for MCPS. And he used to discourage people doing MCPS. He used to say, please do FCPS. Do FCPS. It's not taking anything away from MCPS, unfortunately. But I, I strongly request you, if you have 
register yourself in mcps at a young age please please have mercy on your career do fcps do fcps part 1 but not in the pathetic terrible yuck way the people are doing for fcps part 1 that is not the way to prepare for fcps part 1 if you prepare uh, in a proper way you will you will be able to pass okay i will use a word i have never seen a rabbit going to an eye specialist i have never seen a rabbit going to an eye specialist because the rabbit takes a lot of carrots and carrots has vitamin a and vitamin a gives good eyes so that is the i will say i have never seen a person who is preparing for usmle failing in fcps part 1 why they don't fail they never do these stupid mcqs pool they don't fail because they have correct concept okay and majority of them yes there will be some exceptions but majority of them they just uh, do F usmle step 1 preparation and they just go to have uh, fcps part 1 and they never fail why they don't fail because they have clear concept i appeared in 2006 believe me it was november 2006 and Pattern was a little different in a way that there used to be two papers, but both of them used to be uh, like uh, more of physiology, pharmacology, and I mean there used to be no dermatology and uh, uh, like uh, like th there was no common uh, paper one, but the paper two used to be major uh, 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 focusing on uh, the things which are related to anesthesia. Okay, but believe me, I tell you at that time the the, the books which you have now. This uh, Asim Shweb and uh, I don't know the terrible rally and I don't know who who there's terrible people. They are criminal. They are destroying the future of our country. They are believe me, they are criminals. Why I'm taking take, saying them criminals because they are giving you a shortcut and unfortunately you are for following their footprints because you think that uh, this is the only way. But if you prepare physiology, pharmacology in a proper way. And then read these questions and correct their answers through uh, through Google. Correct them, open the books, open the sources, and just make sure you know about them rather than just half cut. This is a, a, a disaster. And then you appear um, FCPS part one like, like a damn fool. Every two months you are appearing. FCPS part one, they, you cannot prepare before six months. At least six months thorough study you need to appear in FCPS part one. People are uh, 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 saying, sir, we are appearing in uh, March attempt. In January, they are telling me. How can you prepare for it? No, not at all. It's not a joke. The people who do USMLE at least take one year. At least you give six months. If you do at least six months pure thorough studies, you will pass. I can guarantee you, you will pass. Okay. So I think uh, thanks a lot, all of you for your presence. I try to speak out from my heart and whatever I can help. And um, like uh, uh, the people who are appearing in the exam now, uh, any anything you want to discuss, any topic you want to discuss, I, I can give you time and we can have some discussion about it. Okay. So thanks a lot, all of you for your presence and any of you, your question is welcome. Okay. Any question before I finish? Thank you, sir. Uh, Dr. Vishal, uh, are yes. there any uh, audio, audio lectures available? Uh, I mean, oh, oh, uh, for a specific topic, not the discussion, just the lecture. Uh, actually, there are audio. I, I will suggest you this uh, Kentucky. Okay, just a second. University of Kentucky. University yeah, because in the theater, we can, uh, during the case, we can just hear the lecture out. You, uh, this is a good source, University of Kentucky lectures. Uh, I, I, before I, I shared it to, just a second, University of Anesthesia. Yes, this, this has some of the lectures. Okay, then podcast. Okay. I have uh, the share the link which I share with all of you. Uh, I have actually pasted uh, podcast uh, audio. So this is one of them. You know, if you write any topic, like uh, any topic, believe me, hypernatremia, you will find some lecture. Okay. So actually, actually now world is in your fingertips. Whatever you want to learn, you just write on Google. You will find the answer. Right on YouTube, you will find the answer. 
ओके ओके सर थैंक यू तो ऑल ऑफ यू थैंक्स अलॉट फॉर योर प्रेजेंस एंड बेस्ट ऑफ लक बाय बाय